In the lead-up to a tragic death in Outer Banks, the show hinted at the true villain for season 4 and the life he would take. Initially, treasure hunters Leitner and Dahlia posed as the greatest threats to the Pogues. However, the ending of Part 2 revealed Chandler Groff as the real antagonist. Clues suggesting Groff's dangerous nature were gradually unveiled, including his concealment of Wes Jan Rett's letter and his cunning and unpredictable behavior as a killer. The show's final episode repeatedly highlighted the weapon Groff used, hinting at its twisted significance. In Episode 7, Groff's weapon of choice is introduced, revealing his cold and deceitful personality. During the mercenary's assault on his house, the protagonist pulls out a shiny pocket knife that he had been concealing. The father and son are connected by a lethal symbol, and this knife, which is never seen again, occurs just before Groff betrays JJ for the first time. Groff promptly accuses JJ of killing Omar, effectively betraying his son, when Dahlia and his men apprehend the two. Groff gets his hands on another knife in the last episode of Outer Banks and uses it to carry out his avaricious schemes. The character's hidden true nature, which he keeps hidden until he can betray his friends, is reflected in the weapon. The Blackbeard treasure hunters on the Outer Banks and Rafe in the Moroccan desert are both betrayed by him using it. Even when he loses, he clings to it, like when JJ declines to help him climb out of the well with a rope. Tudum was informed by creator Jonas Pate that the knife held by Groff was purposefully brought to light so that viewers would be beware of it and heed the warning about the truly malevolent character. Even though JJ had given up the Blue Crown, the biggest monster on the Outer Bank still uses the knife to murder his own son, thereby fulfilling the knife's horrible purpose. Groff pauses to think about what he did after fleeing the tragic scene. He then drops the knife and looks down at his hand, where he feels the agony of his son's blood. Despite the fleeting hint of guilt that the small moment gives Groff, he immediately turns his focus to the prize he has won, the Blue Crown. The character is a sociopath. According to Josh Pate, co-creator of Outer Banks. Even when he's not telling the truth, he pretends to be telling the truth to himself. Groff seems to convince himself he had to murder JJ in order to fulfill his avaricious ambition for the Blue Crown. Obviously, this is not at all accurate. The youthful renegade from the Outer Banks had no desire to engage in a struggle with JJ, regardless of the danger he posed to his mission. Neither the crown, nor any inheritance from the Shan Rets, were on the table. After being wounded by JJ's rejection at the well and unable to accept that his kid doesn't require him, Groff murders him firmly out of vengeance. Groff's knife serves its purpose by heightening the sadness of JJ's death, the killer wasn't driven by greed, but by a wounded and narcissistic pride on the part of the father.